is dead. Did you bury him? Did you spread his ashes? I want to see my son. I told you. I'm not leaving until you tell me where Finn is. What was that? Answer me. You tell me now. What was that sound? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. As you can see, we have Sheila confronting Lee today because she wants to know where Finn's final resting place is. And then she hears the monitors going off. I won't allow you to do this ever again, Sheila. Now get out! How many times do I have to tell you I am not going anywhere until I see my son? What is that? Get out now. You tell me. Get out of my way. You can't talk to you. Wow. Did y'all see how Sheila just kind of flung Lee out of the way like she was a little rag doll? Now, Lee did a good job of holding her own, and she is not scared to stand up to Sheila. Sheila was asking, was the sound Jack in the back? And Lee told her, no, we're not together because you took a wrecking ball and ruined everything in my life. And that's when she was telling her to get out. She said, I'm not going until you tell me where my son is. What I don't understand and what gets me with Soaps, which I know they have to do this so we have a storyline. She could have made up anything and told her. She could have told her she spread his ashes in some lake or the ocean and sent Sheila on her way. Then, of course, we wouldn't have the drama right now. But still, that would be the go-to. Just tell her something to get her out of there and then call the cops. Did I really just see that? You and Eric. This is unbelievable. I know I am not Quinn's biggest fan, but marriage should still be respected. I'm asking you, please. Please don't tell her. So Hope continues to eavesdrop on Donna and Eric, and then when she sees Eric leaves, she goes in the room and confronts Donna. Of course, Donna asked her not to say anything. Now, she did not give an answer today, but that does put Hope in a bad place considering that she does not like to hold things. So we'll see how she'll answer that on tomorrow's episode. Point. Sheila could be anywhere. Lieutenant Baker stops by to inform Taylor and Ridge that Sheila has escaped and they are furious that the police let her get away. When he first came in, Ridge made a joke that, oh, did one of the other inmates kill Sheila? So he really wants her gone. He's continuing on that. So again, I'll say, if something happens to Sheila, he's going to be number one on the list of suspects. But Lieutenant Baker wanted to know if Ridge and Taylor had any idea where Sheila might go based on the last time they spoke with her. Two of you together, uh, what's the occasion? What's the one thing, the most important thing that Bridget and I have in common? Well, the most important thing is me. Right. <laughs> I, I reached out to your daughter because I was worried about you. Why? Because I think you may be overdoing it at the club. So as we saw on yesterday, Eric's monitoring went off again, alerting that his heart rate and blood pressure has spiked. And because of this, Quinn called Bridget to find out if she should be worried or what number she should be looking for with Eric because she has set the limits on the ring monitor. Carter was, of course, still there telling her not to worry so much. And then again, going on his spiel about Eric is a lucky man. He's lucky that she told him, yes, blah, 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 with the big puppy dog eyes. We've been seeing this for Carter for the past two weeks. But when he was leaving, he hugged Bridget. And I was like, hmm, that would be a cute couple if Carter and Bridget got together. But Bridget told her there's nothing to worry about. And then Eric walks in and Quinn admits that she's worried about him and thinks he's overdoing it at the pickleball court. And as you can see his face, he's like, what? <laughs> My son has been alive. 
So drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Do you think Holt will keep Donna secret or will she pressure her to come clean or else she'll tell the secret? And now that Sheila knows that Finn is alive, I don't think that Lee is gonna be able to get her out of her house. Drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. I am sure she's gonna set up camp and stay right there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.